Relief arriving for some of the millions of parents struggling to find baby formula. This is the first shipment from Europe. It touched down in Indianapolis just yesterday. The White House says the military plane carried about 78,000 pounds of baby formula. That's enough for more than half a million baby bottles. All of it's from Germany. It's part of what President Biden is calling Operation Fly Formula. Agriculture Secretary Tom Vilsack says the shipment contains a very specific, specialized formula. He says it's, it's getting loaded onto trucks and will be delivered to hospitals and health care clinics across the country. Uh, this shipment provides enough formula uh, to take care of 9,000 babies and 18,000 toddlers uh, for a week. But it's not for everyone. The White House says more flights are expected in the coming days. CBC's Perry Russom now on what the administration is doing to address the formula crisis. It is truly one of our highest priorities. A second plane carrying baby formula is set to land later this week. The country scrambling to fill a nationwide shortage. What the hell is going on? Parents staring at bare shelves. Yesterday, New York City's mayor issuing a state of emergency to fight price gouging. A milk donation center for medically fragile babies in South Carolina is expanding to the public. We had a, a family pick up milk this morning and just, you know, we're in tears. The patchwork to replenish the nationwide shortage is heavily reliant on an Abbott factory in Michigan. 25% of the nation's formula is made right here. The plant shut down in February after a voluntary recall. This weekend in a Washington Post op-ed, Abbott CEO Robert Ford wrote, we're sorry to every family we've let down. Ford announcing the plan should reopen by next week, but it will take another six to eight weeks before formula is on shelves. Applause for Secretary of Agriculture Tom Vilsack when he announced the first shipment yesterday. I think it's applaudable that we're able to bring that much formula to help out that many children, um, but there's millions of children that may be affected by this. Dr. Josh Wexler is a pediatrician. He says usually parents should not switch formula, but now he's advising them to do exactly that, to maintain the child's weight. You sacrifice weight gain, you potentially might not get taller, you might potentially sacrifice your brain development as well. That second shipment arrives on Wednesday at Dulles Airport outside of D.C. It then goes to Pennsylvania before it is handed out. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.